Katie and I'm one of the technicians here at Leicester Print Workshop. Today we're going to do some mono screen printing. We're going to be painting onto the screen. So what we have here is one of our mini screens. It's a 62 thread aluminium framed screen and we also have one of our baseboards with our duck feet clamps attached. So the first thing we want to do is tape up our screen. So the only bit of screen we want to be able to see through is the bit where we are going to be printing. So I get my parcel tape, measure out the length of the screen. So to get this really neat, what you need to do is put your thumbs in the centre of the tape and then into the corners of the screen and press down. We want to do this around the whole screen but you don't want to watch me do that, so here's one I made earlier. So as you can see, we've got about an A5 gap here in the middle. So what we want to do is we want to attach our screen into these clamps. We want to make sure it's really tight. We don't want a wiggly screen. Sometimes these clamps can be a little bit stiff. There we go. So give it a bit of a wiggle just to make sure it's not going anywhere. And also the screen can sit up like this. So what we want to do is to recreate this sort of gap from the clamps is to put some bits of card on the edge of our screen and this is called the snap. So I'm going to use masking tape for this. So we just attach this to the opposite corners of the clamps. So now when we put our screen down, we've got a nice bounce. Okay. So to paint onto the screen, we're using some pre-mixed colour. So this is a 50-50 mix of um, System 3 acrylic to acrylic medium. So I'm just going to give this a little bit of a mix through. So, I've got some brushes, and as you can see, these are stubby brushes. So it means we have chopped the top of the brush off. It just gives you kind of, you're putting a kind of a lot more ink down, and you're less brushy with it. So what I'm going to be doing is a little bit of like a seascape sort of thing. So as I'm painting, I'm putting quite a lot down, I'm also going over my tape edges. What we don't want is, you know, kind of some, some gaps at the sides. So I'm just going in. You can use different brushes. I'm just going in with the same brush because I'm just using different blues. So you can really kind of layer this up. You want to work quite quickly. You don't want the ink to dry into the screen. Okay. Go for a bit of that one. Okay. What you want to do is avoid any gaps. If you would like gaps, paint with pure medium. Okay. So there you can see, I've painted onto my screen. So the next thing I'm going to do is grab some paper, which I have left over there, so give me a second. Here we go, so we're just printing on our bog standard proofing paper today. So I've just arranged that under the screen I now have pure acrylic medium. So this is actually what I'm going to print with. So I'm going to pour some at the top of my screen. Always put out a little bit more than you think you're going to use. And make sure that it is the length of your squeegee. That is to reduce friction on the screen. 
Okay. I don't know if you can see that very well on film. Next thing I'm going to do is I've got both hands on my squeegee. My fingers are splayed slightly so I get a nice even pressure. And my squeegee is at 45 degrees. I'm going to press down quite hard and pull all the way towards me. You'll then see we have our print. So what we're going to do now is we're going to leave this to dry and in part two of this video you'll see a photographic screen layer being added to this. So in part one we created some mono backgrounds and in this part of the video we are going to be printing a photographic screen over the top. So this is a um, 62 thread screen again. It has been coated with a photosensitive emulsion and then put into our exposure unit with an image. And everywhere that you can see through a screen is where the ink will pass through. So we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to clamp our screen into this board. And we need to remember to attach our snap to these corners. Okay, so I've just got three bits of mount board put into rectangles. So you just go on there like that. So you might be able to see on our board we have a bit of plastic. This plastic is called CAD foil and we are going to use this as our registration sheet. So we are going to attach it to our board. Now I use masking tape for this and we're going to make a hinge. So just attach it there. Fold it over and attach it on the side. Now it's really important that this um, CAD foil doesn't move. So to make sure it's not on there nice and secure. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our first print onto this CAD foil. But first, I'm gonna tape up the edges of my screen exactly the same way we did it in part one. Except with this, I only need to go around the very edge because the blue emulsion will stop the ink going through the rest of the screen. Got my finger stuck in the scissors. Go around all four edges. So this doesn't le need to look neat, it just needs to do the job. There we go. So you can see that all four edges of our screen are now taped. Okay, I'm going to move my screen around this way. Right, so I'm using a slightly smaller squeegee this time. I just need the squeegee to be the size of my image. Okay. So I'm going to use black ink and this is a pre-mixed pot. It is 50% medium, 50% acrylic. Mixed through really well. So I'm going to put plenty at the top of my image. If you can see that very well on the video, there we go. So I've got my CAD foil underneath. That is what I'm going to print onto. So again, I've got both hands on my squeegee, my fingers splayed so I get nice even pressure. And I'm pressing down quite hard, 45 degree angle, and then pulling down. And then lifting my screen, getting behind my ink, and pushing it back to the top. That is called a flood. So that just makes sure that the ink does not dry into the screen. 
So if I turn this round, you'll be able to see that we have our print on our CAD foil. I can now arrange my piece of paper underneath my CAD foil and I can decide wherever I would like my image. So I'm going to do it slightly off like that. And let's fold that down. I'm going to print from this way this time. Get a little bit more ink out. So, so the length of my squeegee again. And then in one motion, all the way down. And flood. Now I don't want to stop my squeegee halfway down because I'll get lines in my image. And there we go. There is our print. Thank you for watching. Bye.